Ready for liftoff. Commander, are you listening? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Okay, there we go. All systems go. Okay. Now I can put some bump on real quickly, you dig? And everything in the game. I can play my instrumentals for this spell. I could do that. Okay, or I could just give y'all some straight raw and uncut. You dig what I'm talking about for real, for real, man, on this Saturday morning. I ain't ran park in a long time. We're going to run some rec center today, too, man. We're just going to have a nice little stream, man, and to throw this up on the tube. You dig what I'm talking about, man, for real, for real. I think I will try to acquire some bump for y'all listening, enjoying me. Also, I got to do one more damn thing. I got to get the damn chair. I got to get the damn chair. What's going on, cuz? Follow for a follow. Know that's true in the game, man. Follow me and I'll follow you right back. Home Jesus. Mother OF Christ. Welcome to LC the One TV on Twitch. Because I'm getting everything ready for y'all, man. And I'm going to throw some bump on in the stream. My instrumentals, okay? You did. Might as well get some bread, too, at the same damn time. So hold on. Let me get this damn chair, man, before we start this damn match. Because I ease up out the chair. I know y'all still can hear me, man. Just stay tuned, man. Y'all all stay right there. Don't move a muscle, okay? You're about to be in a, the mix with DJ L. It's going to be a YouTube special because I'm exasperated. No, I'm not the exasperated boy. Okay, we got a game right there. I ain't got time to get the bump now, so we finna run this damn game. Y'all better know that's trill. In the game. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we in here like booty up. Okay, man. We got Kane Ram 23. Retro Richie. And of course L about to run this. Run them up, okay? What we got for today's stream, man? Let me show y'all, man, what we got for today's stream. I got the Sprite right here. You dig what I'm talking about, the Sprite? You dig what I'm talking about for my drinking enjoyment? Then I got the butter right here for my nose. Let me put that on real quick. Then I woke up with the headband and the boogie. You know why? Because I was up to 4 o'clock in the morning watching the Five Bloods. The Five Bloods, that's a Spike Lee original. Netflix. Oh, they got me playing center? Okay. All right, cuz. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They got me playing center. Okay, I'm finna make him jump out of his damn shoes, Jack. Damn, my bad, my bad. I'm OC. Out of control, starting off, okay? Okay, man. Everybody get back on they man. Back on your man. Oh, sweet dude, saw the glass. What the for the net? Okay. Then we can get a long string today. Been a minute. Come on, down drop cook. Recognize me. Why do I have to stick to B? You know, I'm gonna try to. I got a, a, a slasher. I'm a slasher. What's up, the tree? Oh, the sweet deuce. Okay. I got a slash. I'm a slasher. Yep. Get out of here. We're green for the money, gold for the honey. I'm going to put some bump on for y'all, man, shortly. Y'all stay tuned like a Neptune. It's just going to be my instrumentals. You know, because uh, all this is going. Look at that screen. Look at that box out right there. Doing everything I got to do, man, to contend with that giant. He? he like 12 feet tall. Cause. Boy, 12 feet tall, Jack. Put up and down. Inside, L tip top dumb gorilla really gorilla. I knew I was gonna slash through it eventually. That's why I said I'm a slasher. Okay, that's what I do. We should be able to win this game, man. You know, they got Andre the Giant right there. That's the only factor. That's our quickness and our speed. Come on, cuz. Make sure y'all follow, man. Come on, you gotta make that big fella. Make sure y'all follow and turn on the notification bell. That was a nice little tip top alley oop layup right there. Okay, I'm in my rags today. Okay, 
This Saturday. Just trying to chill on this Saturday, man. Ain't working hard or nothing. You know. Y'all can check out the live I did yesterday, man, on the channel. You know, if y'all visiting from Twitch, which is this is Twitch stream. Y'all can go check out the lives, man, I did on Damien Cryer and Erica, Love by Erica. They got, oh, come on, good. I'll let it, come on, Pippin. Mm. I tried, I tried to fake them out of shoes. But Love by Erica and Damien Cryer going through an ordeal down there in Texas. Guess he, you could say all his exes live in Texas. We got two of them so far in Texas. Oh, good, good sweet deuce right there. And man, you know, I've been following Damien Cryer for a long time. I've been watching him for the last two, three years. And, you know, like I was saying in the video, I consider him, you know, to be a mentor, because he's an elder. And he got a lot of wisdom, man. Okay, and discernment. And you know, we need them type of people, especially on YouTube, especially in our black community. You know, because that's a void, man. Because, you know, ain't nobody really giving nobody no no common sense out. Good flush right there, cuz. Ain't nobody really giving nobody no good common sense, man. You know, especially in our community, man. You know, because right now, it's a dire straight for blacks. And, you know, a lot of stuff going on, man. There's no op no job opportunities. You know. You know, we still got the brutality thing going on. You know, and it goes real deep, you know. And um, you know, I'm thinking about the, the generation after us. My daughter. You know, cause she gotta deal with all this stuff, man. After we leave here, she gotta deal with her and her her boyfriend, they gotta deal with this this madness, man. And it's like the question is, when will it stop, man? When is it going to end, man? And, you know, I was saying yesterday, like, man, I think, you know, it ain't a bad thing for us to, you know, separate, like Brother Minna Farrakhan said, you know, separate ourselves, you know, because this situation ain't right for us, man. It, it ain't going to be right for us. And, you know, people got to wake up and, you know, be leery of that. Can't be out here playing around in America now. You know, this is not a game no more. It never has been a game for special blacks. You know, so people got to be conscious of what's going on out here. Because it's bad out here, man. And I have tried, man. I have tried to help as much as I could. As much as I, as much as I, I've been trying to help as much as I could. You know, the generations, man, for real, for real. I didn't. He had all different type of people come through LM Production, man. You know, because I do got my company. This is a company I started. You know, I work security, former athlete, still play ball. It ain't going to never stop. Playing basketball ain't going to never stop. I'm the only one that's scoring. But, you know, right now, this is not a playing time. And you see in the NBA right now, they trying to pro they trying to protest that, you know, Cause they don't want to play. They don't want to play. Because firstly, you know, the year started off sour anyway. You know, because one of our constituents, because I am still part of that fraternity basketball, because I played. You know, uh, Kobe Bryant passed away. You know, in my opinion, still due to negligence. All right, and y'all know I did my my videos and things like that on my channel. On my channel, you'll see the one for all those twitch twitches. And I was I was expressing my concerns, man, and you know I was going deep because you know me and Kobe, we the same age, you know. That's you know we the forty boys, man. You know, and I, I you know, I'm, I'm gonna stay stern and fast on what I was saying yesterday about how our generation made a lot of money, man, in this country. And how they trying to eliminate us and ostracize us, man, from being entrepreneurs, you know. They doing a lot of tech, like George Floyd. That was my constituent. He's 40, 42, 43. See what I'm saying? 
And it's like, man, we, because I, I don't know what it is, man. It's like we still haven't been, we don't be not owners, like, for real, for real. You know, they let Mike Generation, Magic, you know, they owned a lot of stuff, you know, properties and things like that. And, you know, and I'm like, what's going on, man? You know, why are they trying to eliminate us? And it's like Kobe Bryant, him and Kevin Garnett, they made the most money, man, in the M- in NBA history. That's my class I came out with. That's the class I played with. They made the most money, man, in NBA history. You know? And it's like it make you feel some type of way, man, because I know how hard it has been for me here in Chicago, man. The struggle has been real. And it's like it's a few of it, like Ronnie Fields, you know, he got left out of the story. But it's been real, man, here in Chicago, man. It's like I left one year. I went down south to try to play basketball at Grambling State University. You know, and that probably was the best decision I ever made because I'll never forget that experience, man. And when I came back, it just been, it just been hard, man. You know, I had a little pass and stuff here. You know, nobody's life has been peachy and cream, especially if you come from Chicago. You know, and you know it's you gonna it's gonna be some issues. You know, but I'm saying, you know, I don't know why Chicago judge because that's what it feel like. You be judged for things in your past. You could be doing a lot of great things. And they still hold things over your head, you know, or whatever the situation may be, you know. Everybody has a, a a a right to have a second chance in in society, you know. I've been wrongly accused of a lot of stuff, and I stood up, man. Hit a lawyer, all that stuff, man. But I'm just saying, man. It's like, you know, Chicago is a stigma here, man. They stigmatize blacks, man, especially black men. And if you try to do something constructive for yourself, and I'm a young black man, you know, my elders and stuff, the Jesse Jacksons, my grandfather and them, they had opportunities, man. All those opportunities for us is gone. No 401k, no social security. And it's like this is going to be the reality for the next generation. And I keep stressing that all the young people I come in contact with, man, and I try to help, you know, I keep emphasizing them, man, y'all got to save y'all money and invest, man. You can't be out here playing, especially in Chicago, Illinois. What's going on, cuz? Hey, man, I'm trying to chill, man, for real, for real, man. It been a hell of a week, dog, for real, for real. I woke up with the head bang the boogie, I think, because I'm drinking too much of that damn tea. But it is what it is. I'm just trying to chill, man. I ain't been on here in a minute live like this, you know. And I'm going um, low pro per belly. In my lingo, that means I ain't try. I may play some music. And if I do, it's going to be my instrumentals because I don't want to get no copyrights. And plus, I'm still trying to get affiliated, Jack. I only got like, all I need is three viewers per view, uh, I guess, broadcast. And we in that like booty here. But it's like, oh my lord, Jesus, the tip top dunk. Marilla, gorilla, Lord have mercy. But uh Yeah, I was gonna do a couple of live streams like this today, man. Come on, down drop up. I did I that was, I telecast that one. No. Telegraphed it, you know what I'm talking about. But I got a uh an episode coming up, man. Another my career mode episode, man. Make sure y'all check that out on the two shortly you did. I just gotta chop it up. The video's already one of them. Uh, well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give, give it away yet. Y'all just gonna have to watch the video. If y'all rocking with LC, baby, LC the one. Inside, that's what, slap his stuff to be Jesus. Okay, that's the second time big fella in the scored on me. Next time, I'm gonna have to, you know, knee him in them, them family jewels. Get them up off me, good. Come on, the tree. Nothing doing. Inside, oh, good rebound right there. I had two of them big suckers on me. Okay, man, but, yeah. Y'all see that video shortly, man. My Career Mode, episode 79. Okay? Oh, I faked them out of shoes. I got sweet dudes off the glass. What the fuck now? 
Okay. But uh, yeah. But back to the program, man. The story. Okay. Well, this is a uh, uh, not hot topic today. Y'all know I do have my hot topic. But yeah. The hot topic, you know, is about, like I said, man, the survival of blacks in America and the condition that we currently are in. And I'm talking about the Chicago scene, man, the Chicago situation and how blacks have to be really intelligent now because this is not a game, people. Okay, this is not a game. Now, I've been laid off for about three months. All right. Three months I've been laid off, man. And I've been getting the unemployment. I got one stimulus check out of the situation. And, um, you know, now I'm listening to a lot of these financial advisors. They on YouTube and they giving people the 411. Oh, my bad. The 411 on what's going on. And they talking about now states. They have. A lot of these states have the uh, the go ahead to go forward with evictions. OK, and this is serious here. Like all the people I've been trying to mentor that have been rocking with me. And I've been stressing like no matter what's going on, man. If you're getting resources. If they giving you resources, make sure you stay current with your with your with your finances. That's that's number one. That's the number one priority. I tell my daughter all the time, and she and she technically worked for me because this is my company, LM Production. All right, she's a she's in college. Her and her boyfriend they in college, and I pay for everything. And I keep emphasizing her save. And she's like, yeah, dad, I'm going to try to save and stuff. You know, cause I understand she's a kid. You know, she still want to enjoy her young adulthood. And I want her to have fun. You know, I don't want her to be worrying about things, you know, at this stage, in her stage of her life. She's only 21 years old, you know. She don't supposed to be worried about where she's going to live and stuff like that. You know, she shouldn't be worried about paying bills because that's the parent's Oh my Lord Jesus, they gonna do me like that, cuz. That's the parents' responsibility, you know, until your child is able to take care of themselves. I don't care if they 30 years old. They, you still have to, you still liable, cuz that's your child, man. No matter how old they get, man, you know, you gotta be there for your children. Period, man. Whether they fail or they succeed, you have to be there for your children. You gotta help your children out. You know, because I'm going to get my Black Lives Matter shirt after this. And this is what we're going to call this stream. Black Lives NBA 2K, Black Lives Matter talk. But, you know, it's like it's detrimental, man, that you instill values, good values in your children, man. For real, for real, especially for blacks, man, because this is, man, it's getting really scarce right now and this is not a game there's no opportunities like i was telling uh my young uh, homie yesterday i was telling her about how every summer we had programs here in the city for the children like you know you know like for summer jobs and things like that all that stopped with mayor daily the second mayor daily Okay, I remember that. I used to always get a summer job. I had, had an opportunity to make money in the summer. I think my daughter probably, she had like an intern or something like that, you know. And she got a one a computer through Northwestern. Gave her a computer because she wanted to, um, you know, at that time she wanted to be an OGBYN. So, that was her major. But she seen how hard it was and she switched her major to cosmetology. You know, went to a tra uh, uh, trade school, you know, and now she's about to graduate from there. But uh, shout out to Trey and Jay, you know, they stopped their stream doing Black Lives Matter. I'm doing the same thing, man. 
You know, because a lot of young people need to hear this. That's why I was talking about Damien Cryer earlier. And he a person of discernment, man. So it's like all this stuff where I'm seeing love by Erica as she, you know, defamating him and stuff. I'm like, man, you know, I can understand she feeling hurt, you know, because the situation it didn't work out, man. The relationship didn't work out. But you can't defame that man like that because he's an elder. You got to respect your elders, number one, you know. And if he was saying a lot of things, he's still your elder. At the end of the day, man. He's still your elder, and he was uh, trying to learn some things, okay? Because they already successful. His family already successful. His son, you know, if he wasn't discerning uh, and and instilling good values in the work ethic in his son, his son wouldn't be who he is today, Damian Prince. So he just been running to bad relationships and you know sometimes the farm like the young people now is different now you know no doubt cuz straight up and down thanks for tuning in scar you dig on time about make sure you follow pimpin for real for real because i'm gonna be dropping the 411 all the time you can check out my youtube and you'll see a lot of exclusive stuff lc the one that's what it is i'm a musician basketball player and I'm trying to be a philanthropist, okay? Because I got my company, LM Production. Got my, they just renew my business license and everything. You know, I'm debt free. <laughs> I'm a production company and I'm trying to get a budget now. You know, I got monetized on YouTube and hopefully I can, you know, it'll, it'll stack up where I can produce and direct my first movie on my channel because I wrote screenplays. I went to college for this stuff, man. After my basketball career, my major was broadcasting okay and i was doing tv radio all right so i know how to write they taught me how to write direct i know how to edit you know i know how to write you know and i wrote two screenplays the first one is called evil eye what's well, it's called yeah evil eye and the second screenplay no it's called evil i call it evil the second screenplay that i was writing it was called hefe and if y'all check out my youtube you'll see my records the soundtracks FA1, FA2, and I may be playing the instrumentals shortly. FA instrumentals, they on YouTube right now. I put the whole thing up there for, for both records, so both uh, instrumentals, the soundtrack, you know. And, uh, you know, FA was like a tale, like a Boys in the Hood tale on how I started my life in Chicago, man. And it's like every Chicago one, then, uh, oh, we got to get it right there. This probably be the last one right here, man. We run. Did not come back later for, for a wreck center game live. So y'all come back, man. All those is tuned in. Stay tuned like a Neptune and keep it tuned like what? Nicholas Baton. Okay. But um, yeah. Um, you know, it's like um uh, I'm just trying to get a budget, man, so I can get those movies out, man. Hefe is a real movie. I'm 80 pages in. I I gotta get my computer fixed so I can finish the screenplay. But it's a real movie, and I had to, 80% of it is real, and I had to fabricate the rest of the story because my people still here in the struggle, in the street. You dig what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some, some real hardcore gangsters in the city of Chicago, and I'm my, I, on both sides of the fence. Because on west side, south side, you know, they in the life still, okay? For real, for real, they in the life. All right? So, yeah, that being said, man, uh, I'm just trying to get a budget, man. So if y'all watch my videos, man, and let them ads play, man, I greatly appreciate it, man. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to Scott, man, 27. Y'all go follow him, too, on his channel. You did. Shut up and down. But, yeah, you know, y'all go check that out, man. You know, check out my, my, my content, man, because I'm a real dude, man. I got, I'm like, I got like a Saturday night type of page, you know, skit. I do all. I got LC1 TV, NBA 2K show, co-hosted with... My co-host Victoria. I don't know where the hell she at, but I hope she good. Okay, because it's been a minute since she hollered at me. I don't know what happened. Okay, and then I got LC the one reactions. I got my LC the one vlogs. I got my LC the one ghost vlogs. That's some new stuff right there. Oh my lord. Okay, and then uh, I got a lot of stuff on my page, man. I got the NBA. I got gaming content and all this. Now, I made this start a gaming channel eventually. I got a basketball channel called uh, Illmatic124. That's my streetball basketball. You know what I'm saying? I be doing all type of stuff. You get a dad drop it to me because it's all good. But, yeah, man, I'm just trying to do good, man, in the hood, you know.
under these circumstances and these conditions that we living in because man it's a lot of successful people it's a lot of talented people that come from these walks of life man they don't get the shine i be trying to help out as much as i can man you know and in turn you know a lot of people done me wrong man it's you no know, it's like but it's, it is what it is but god you know what i have done you know my heart at man you know and you know it is what it is, man. And that I, I helped somebody, man, in my time. You know, I helped a lot of people, man, that came through Ellen Production, and those that, you know, that 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 been here, they know that. You know, I could have got that sweet deuce right there. You know, but that's how it is. People will use you and abuse you in life. You know, you just gotta stay focused and stay fast. You know, and complete the mission. And my mission was getting my daughter grown and making her successful, okay? And that's why I don't. That's why she worked for me, you know. And I, I, I believe in what Dang Dad said, man. You know about having your child call somebody else daddy, you know, meaning like working for somebody when he was on a Breakfast Club talking to DJ Envy, you know. And Dang Dad, she, you know, that's my constituent too. He's a little older than me, but you know, I felt what he was saying when he was there. You know, and Kanye West is a prime example. Y'all go see my story time on when I met, when I when I was there, when Kanye West, I was right there in the same room with Kanye West got put on. I put on for my, I was right there. I was in the same room with Kanye West, my right hand to God. And if Kanye ever, if I ever see Kanye again, or if anybody ever, you know, somebody that's close to him for real, for real, because my, my cousin, them, they hang out with him and stuff. Ask him the time when he went down, when he was down at WGCI, sem uh, the WGCI seminar. Somebody just asked him, because he was just like me. You know, we the same, we the same age. That's my brother right there. Somebody just asked him, Kanye, was you down there at the WGCI seminar in 1998? And did Jermaine Dupri pull you out the crowd? Out of all those musicians in there. At that time, I wasn't published or anything. But I was trying to learn about the business. That's why I went down there. Did, did Jermaine Dupri pull you out the crowd? You can ask Irv Gotti, because he was there. Chris Lightley, he's still alive. Well, he he passed away. This big black uh, dude named John, he was there. But ask him. Somebody ask him these stories, man. And tell him, ask him if I'm lying. Because this happened, man. Kanye West got pulled out. I didn't, I'm just waiting on my, my spaceship and rocket, like Kanye said. I'm just waiting on my opportunity, man. Because everybody know what I've been doing in Chicago, man. Everybody know, man. For real, for real. I just wonder when is somebody gonna reach for me, man, for real, for real. And you know, be like, man, it was a good brother, man. I done, I try my best, man. I done try my best here, man. And I'm trying to stay put, man, but sometimes, you know, you know the same sometimes don't be right, you know. And it's like the last time I left, I vowed to myself I'm not gonna leave Chicago ever again. Unless I make it, make it here, you know, and it been hard, man. I'm telling you, it been a struggle, man. Y'all don't understand. I've been to jail three times. I didn't do anything. I had a lawyer, and I won every case. Just for being stereotyped, and I showed y'all that in my live stream, and I was talking about Damien Cryer or somebody. It been hard, man. It been hard, and I shouldn't. And I was a basketball player. All I wanted to do was just play basketball first, man. Then I started rapping because my family was rapping. They successful. They hang out with Jigga and all them. And Snoop Dogg and Scarface. I'm like, what's going on, man? Why ain't nobody? I mean, I shouldn't even still be sitting right here, man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I should still be sitting right here. I should at least have about 100 grand right now, man. For real, for real. Based off my, you know, everything I did, man. Oh, my God. This dude, he got clips. And they grinning for the money, go for the money. They, they, man, they straight whooping us today, man. Hold on, leave me run. Think I'm young. Come on. Uh, but uh, yeah, man. I don't understand it, man. You know, but like I was saying, man, people gonna take advantage of you and use you, you know, in life. And I learned that from the um, 
old girl on baby boy she was like you gotta understand men use women men uh men use women and women use men you know and pff, man i done been through it all man you know i done been through it all i'm telling you it's been a long ordeal and I'm just waiting on my spaceship and rocket. I'm just trying to get my. I've been trying to get my damn teeth fixed. If they don't give me no anything else, man, help me get my damn teeth fixed on Jesus, so I can chew food on Jesus, Mother O F Christ. That's all I want, man. If they don't give me nothing else, man, help help me get my damn teeth fixed, Jack, so I can chew food, man, and I can make it to about eighty or ninety years old on everything in the game. <laughs> Straight up, let's do me that one five. You know what I'm talking about, man. Help me out. But yeah. I thank all those that tuned in, man. For real, for real. That's my last game. I'm going to go get the Black Lives Matter shirt, man. You know. Or oh, I just may call it, you know, just Black Lives Matter talk with L. NBA 2K Playground. And see if they, you know, they approve it and stuff. You dig? Because YouTube rough. I'm telling you. YouTube is rough. On oh, Jesus is rough. But I made it past the hundred dollar threshold. I'm just trying to get a, a budget, man, so I can release my movies on my channel, man. And see how I do, you know. Man, dog, I've been through it, man. I'm telling you, Chicago ain't no joke, man. It's Chirac, ain't no joke. And it's like this summer just started and it's like every day they've been shooting around here every day, man. Sound like the purging golf around this mother sucker. I'm telling you, it's real. It's real. And it's like, what's going to de-escalate this situation, man? Because it seems like it's getting better and better. Due to the state of what we in. I, like, I went to Target yesterday, man. I was going to vlog it. But it's like, it's terrible, man. It's like they, due to the riots, our stores been, see, this is type of stuff they don't say on the news you know, they don't report it everywhere because everywhere ain't like here. Our store has been shut down for about two, three weeks due to the riots. Yep. And it's like if you if you make it to a store, if you get in the store, you lucky because they close early. So you got to hurry up and get in there and get something. I'm telling you, it's bad, man. It's a bad situation right here in Chicago, man. And jobs still haven't, jobs have, still haven't opened up completely yet here. And now, I was listening to the, you know, the people talking about, you know, uh, on the YouTube's financial hey, advice talking I about. remember you picking that out. You're wearing it well. Hey, thanks, Casey. They're talking about how they can go forward with evictions and things like that, man. And this is terrible, man. This is really terrible. You know, that's why with the whole, I started that stream off, man. Make sure y'all take care of your finances and make sure y'all pay y'all bills, man. You know, don't be playing around with this money. You know, take care of your finances because after all this is over and said and done, at the end of the day, man, you still got to take care of yourself and each other. Shout out to Jerry Sprinkle. But it's real, man. I like it. Great choice. It's real out here. So make sure y'all do that, man, for real, for real, because y'all don't. Y'all going to be in deep doo-doo on Jesus. Okay, man, so we finna, we finna end the stream. I'm going to put my little I'm shirt ready. on and stuff, man. Great. And that's what we going to call this, man. Black Matter Lives and you know and see what they say. Yeah, man, it ain't no joke here, man. You know, this is not a game, man. This is not a game, Jack. For real, for real. Chicago prior to is still the most segregated place in America. You know. And Martin Luther King, when he came here, he started the civil rights movement. And this is in my opinion, still, if it wasn't for Rosa Parks, Mike still would be, I mean, uh, uh, Martin would still be here. I'm just keeping it 100 because he was a doctor, he had a doctoral degree. Okay? That's why he came, he was a lawyer. That's why he got involved because it was injustice. And Martin came up here and started the coalition, him and Jesse Jackson. Martin started his headquarters here. 
right here in Chicago, man. And he started speaking out about it, and they started the civil rights movement. Okay? And that's what started my whole thing for when I started my music. Because when I seen this one video clip, it's still on YouTube, man. Y'all can search it. Martin Luther King came here in 19... What was that? 1967, something. 1966, something like that. And he was marching through Gage Park. If you ever been to Chicago, if y'all know about Gage Park, y'all know what time it is over there. Okay? And Martin was walking through Gage Park with the Civil Rights Movement. And somebody picked up a big-ass boulder. And he didn't been hit before with rocks, okay? But he said... This time, he said, man, that boulder hit him so hard. He said, when they hit the, the, the microphones on him and stuff, they was interviewing him, the press. He was like, man, he said, I had never seen a mob like this before ever. And at that time, this was the machine. It's the first machine. This was, that's what they called it, the Chicago. They called it the machine. This was the first Mayor Daly, the, uh, the Daly that ran the city of Chicago. And he was like, I never seen a mob like this and I never seen evil like this before. And when he when I seen that man, that started my whole thing because I was at Chicago State and I was learning about the Jim Crow. They had us in the Gwendolyn Brooks Center. In order to leave exit Chicago State University, you have to go through the Gwendolyn Brooks Center. Okay, I was reading about the Egyptian dynasty. I had about eight books. All right, and it's like, man, I sang that and I was reading about Jim Crow. If y'all listen to my songs, man, y'all understand why I made a song called Chain Gang. Everybody started saying Chain Gang. All the rappers start saying it. I said, I ain't with your Jim Crow laws. I said, F your Chain Gang. And I got locked up three times and I didn't do nothing. And I had a lawyer and I won every case. Okay? But that started my whole thing. So when I finally got to the point where I can publish music independently, my first record was called 2010 Evil Eye. And I was documenting everything that was going on in that year. I was filming. It was a lot of, I seen a lot of pro police brutality over here. I got a whole bunch of footage. Just looking out, I was going to make a movie called Just Looking Out My Window. I seen a lot of horror. So that's why I called it 2010 Evil Eye. And I was calling it Evil Illinois. And I've been getting scrutinized and having problems because of that. That was my first record. My second record, the second year, I kept documenting. Like how the YouTube was documenting. You know, I called it 2011 Evil Eye 2. I'm still documenting. Letting y'all know what's going on. Telling y'all what's happening. Then I kept going. Then I said, evil eye transformed. Then I said, and I was telling y'all how I'm coming out of the evil. And I'm speaking. They, they still trying to put, you know, put me down because I'm speaking out. Then I was like, evil eye transformation. And I just kept on going. Then I came back with 2015. or shot take over or something like that. 2015, evil eye three. Came back and then I came back. I'm like, now that I conquered the evil here, I'm talking about I'm I'm taking over Chicago. I called it Shot Takeover. Then I came back with Shot Takeover Two. I was like, now nah, I was letting you know officially they've been stomped in the ground. The evil been stomped in the ground. It still couldn't stop me. I prospered through all that, and then after it was all said, I said, now nah, you got to deal with the gangster Hefe. I got that from young Gigi, my constituent. Hefe. I came out with Hefe 1. Now they can't stop me. It's nothing they can do. They tried me and everything, and I won. Three times, I'm 3 and 0. They still trying to get me. And then I came out with Hefe 2. Now I got the movie. I was going to come out with Hefe 3, but now the next record is called, it's a compilation. It's called LC The One Horror Classics. And it's with all my horror songs to lead you into my first movie, which will be Evil 
And I wanted the actors to be Anthony Anderson, 50 Cent, and Regina King. I wrote the screenplay based off their characters and their lifestyle because they, they can pull it off. This is real, man. I'm right here amongst y'all. I just watched Spike Lee, The Five Bloods, yesterday on Netflix. It's a two-hour and 30-minute movie. Interesting movie. Y'all should check it out, man. I'm a young director. He's a senior, elder. I'm just trying to get heard, man. You know, that's all. That's all, man. But, hey, man, I'm finna end the stream, man. I thank all of us that tuned in, man. Shout out to Sharky. Shar, Wakar, and a Daily, and Cam. You dig on talking about for tuning in for LC1, LC1 TV on Twitch, man. For real, for real. I may be back with another video. You dig. But I'm finna get up out of here, man. For real, for real, man. So... I'm going to holler y'all Hey, this your boy LC1, baby. LC1, be exactly this. A.K.A. Illmatic124. And not the motherfucking gang. Now, I'm in my rags right now. I got my own apparel, too. Y'all can click on the links below, you know, to check out my apparel. Go to LC1.com if y'all want to purchase some merch, okay? Straight up and down. Um, LC1, be exactly this. A.K.A. Illmatic124. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm-up jerseys on the back of my motherfucking shit. Like always, tell me, keep it pimping and avoid slipping because they will get your motherfucking ass if you slip on that motherfucking banana peel. You dig what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, church on the Reverend God, we're going to we leave. Shout out to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew. I need y'all to like this video. Share this video. Step back, Kobe, Mike. Comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Turn the notification bell button on. Ding! To get more exclusive, dope content from a pimp play against us. All about mine. No doubt, Joe. Um... Like I always say, my church remember God, we're going to five, a four, a three, a two, or one. Church now. Rest in peace, my Uncle Obi. We still strong. We out of here, man. One.